drop bar 29ers or dirt drop 29ers, gravel bikes built around bigger tyres, 650B gravel plus bikes, monster gravel bikes, drop bar hardtails. They're bikes that blur the line between mountain bikes and gravel bikes, drop bar mountain bikes. But just quick, I want to dive a little bit into how to identify a drop bar mountain bike. There's a few things that I personally look for, one being the angled top tube. This increases standover clearance, making it easier to mount and dismount the bike, especially on uneven terrain. This top tube often angles upward. They also fit tires over 2.2 inches wide or 56 millimeters or wider, designed with geometry suitable for drop bars as well as very important. And this does differ to your typical mountain bike. They are popular amongst tour dividers, perfect for those seeking a do-it-all solution. Versatile enough for dirt roads, gravel and light single track, especially for off-road bikepacking, which is where they really shine. They're ideal for weekend adventurers or long-distance tourers, as some of these bikes are touring mountain bikes as well. Built to handle rough terrain despite drop bar setup. However, if you want to learn more about how to compare bikes and looking at all the points to identify all these different kind of specs within bikes, check out my new course that I'll have linked down below. However, geometry is optimized for stability and comfort for off-road riding for these kind of bikes. With the slacker head tube angles, usually between 68 to 70 degrees, and they have a rather upright riding position. They also have more progressive angles in general compared to gravel bikes, allowing for a smoother and more controlled ride on technical terrain. These bikes often have a longer rear end and wheel base compared to gravel bikes also, which enhances their stability on rough terrains and when loaded. Advancements in design have allowed for shorter chain stays, moving from around a 460 to a 445 on something like the Sol Safago, for example. This improves acceleration and maneuverability without sacrificing on tire clearance. They also typically have stronger tubing to withstand the vigors of off-road riding and bike packing. If you wanna go on the draw to win gear worth over $500, I'm doing a monthly giveaway draw at the end of each month. So you can sign up as well in the link below for that if you wanna stay in the loop and find out more about what I'm up to here while also getting the opportunity to win some really awesome gear. The rear triangle is also designed to accommodate larger tires and handle more rugged conditions. These bikes often use wider axle standards and boost spacing. Sometimes 142, but often 148 by 12 mm through axles to accommodate those larger tires and improve overall stiffness and stability. Many drop bar mountain bikes are designed to be suspension corrected, meaning they can be fitted with a suspension fork, typically 100 mm, sometimes 120 mm even if they do come stock with rigid forks. They do have wider drop bars as well, about 46 centimeters or wider, which gives riders more control and confidence on technical terrain. And even something like 50 centimeters, which I've put on my bike, just allows your shoulders to spread out wider, especially when you're riding in the drops, you can really maneuver rocks on technical terrain. And they often come with forks that feature specific offsets, something like 42 or 51 millimeters, affecting handling and increasing trail for better control on rough terrains. And again, this makes for uh, more controlled steering to navigate rocks and other obstacles. And often they come with mounting options for bottles, racks and fenders and all that stuff. And often when they do, this is verging more into a touring drop bar mountain bike category with its versatility and the ability to carry heaps of gear. Then you also get mountain bike specific bottom bracket standards such as 73 millimeter threaded bottom brackets. Depending on the influence of the bike's DNA, this can vary in degree of road and mountain bike. But first bike in the list is True Love Cycles Heartbreaker. It's a go anywhere adventure seeker, an all terrain drop bar 29er, a custom bicycle handcrafted in Warsaw, Poland. The Heartbreaker is a Philip braised high clearance 29er designed for all purpose touring, balancing ruggedness with refined design for adventure cycling. The bike is crafted with a mix of Columbus Cromoly tubing. It features custom geometry tailored to the rider's specifications. The Heartbreak features a slanted top tube, a mix of tubing profiles and boost spacing, creating a bike that handles well on climbs and smooth surfaces but can feel a little unstable on sharp turns. The bike is commonly specced with a refurbished RockShock 
RS1 fork, which enhances straight line descending, but may compromise stability in tight corners due to lateral stiffness concerns. Noted for its climbing efficiency, likely due to its custom tubing and SRAM drivetrain, which provides stiffness and efficient power transfer, the bike offers a smooth ride on varied terrains attributed to the spoke tubing design and longer wheelbase. However, the combination of the longer wheelbase and the bottom bracket height can make the bike feel too tall on technical descents. Balance of comfort and efficiency for long distance rides, despite some handling quirks, the bike is seen as a reliable partner for future adventures. The frame has a clearance for 29er by 2.6 tires, or 66 millimeter tires, with boost axles. Internal routing for dropper posts, suspension fork corrected geometry, Long reach numbers and high trails at 90 millimeters make for stable descending. Nimble steering is provided by a short 50 to 60 millimeter stem. And it's a bike for days in the saddle, bikepacking journeys, or just an all round off-road shredder. Progressive head tube angles 68 to about 69 degrees offers a more slow and stable steering for off-road riding. And it has that all round mid length chainstay at about four, three, five millimeters. And it does feature 148 millimeter through axle rear and a 110 through axle at the front. Also does feature that SRAM UDH or universal derailleur hanger compatible dropouts designed and made in house, which means you can mount any derailleur using widely accessible and cheap SRAM hangers. And you can also mount any SRAM T-type derailleur directly to the dropout as well. Viral bikes, Wanderer, a ready-to-go titanium drop bar do-it-all adventure bike with pinion gearbox and belt drive, designed for the most rugged backcountry expeditions. First to the market with an adventure bike that exceeds all expectations since pinion announced their partnership with TRP on that drop bar brake lever combo built specifically for the new smart shift electronic gearbox bringing unparalleled shifting performance to the drop bar market, ensuring seamless integration with the pinion system, making it a game changer for long off-road expeditions. It's next level stuff. The pinion's electronic smart shift gearbox pairs flawlessly with TRP's high wire shifter and brake lever. Shifting is now as simple as pushing a button. And the gearbox delivers a 600% gear range. That's 80% more gear range than the new SRAM 1x12 system. The Smart Shift system offers seamless electronic shifting, boasting up to 10,000 shifts per charge. Built around the SID SL Ultimate 100mm travel mountain bike fork, or it comes with the Viral Bikes Boost Spacing Carbon Fork. More than enough mounting points for all that you can carry, for all the gear that you need for your adventures. Comes with the capability of up to 2.4 inch 29 r tire clearance. A true mountain bike wheel set with a true mountain bike fork built for drop bar riding. Triple butter titanium tube set delivers an amazingly compliant ride. Innovative geometry that offers a stable and confidence inspiring ride, whether loaded or not. The bike's geometry features a slack 67 and a half degree head tube angle and innovative size specific design providing unparalleled stability and control. Also with a steeper seat tube angle for improved balance and stability. A unique seat cluster design with a titanium spring plate offers 10 to 20 millimeters of flex, adding comfort on rough rides. And partnering with Industry 9 features their Solic M Ultra Light 300 carbon wheels, along with tail fin, also offering customers the ability to fully equip their new bikepacking rig with racks and bags. The off-road drop bar adventure bike that started it all. The Fargo is one of the original bikes that sparked the trend of drop bar mountain bikes, specifically designed for long rides like the Tour Divide. In 15 years since its inception, it has been refined into a versatile adventure machine. A bike that I had the chance of riding multiple times in America and Japan. My mate Eric owns one and he kindly let me ride it. It's such a mile crushing capable rig. The Fargo is a versatile steel or even titanium touring bike with drop bars and mountain bike features. Designed for adventures ranging from rugged gravel rides to long self-supported bikepacking trips. And it boasts the potentiality of speed for those long endurance events. Despite its large tires and heavier weight to some other bikes, the Fargo has been compared to be as fast and efficient as some bikes like the Niner RLT 
nine gravel bike, but this was thanks to it being offered in the titanium build. It is ideal for descents and rough terrain. Coming with front suspension and dropper post full mountain bike specs, the frame now has clearance for a massive 29er by 3 inch tyres, making it suitable for a wide range of terrains. Has plenty of mounts and options for bike packing and adventure cycling, catering to touring and long distance rides. Well sorted angles and measurements designed for comfort and control on long rides and available in five sizes. And the alternator dropout provides flexibility for single speed setups and offers a chainstay length adjustable range from 445 millimeters to 462. Next is Mason Cycles in Search Of. This is an ultimate steel adventure bicycle with the progressive essence. Fast and far riding in mind that take you on continent crushing adventures accommodating 29er by 2.4 inch or 650b by 2.8 inch wheels built for those seeking extreme off-road challenges while retaining comfort on tarmac an italian hand-built steel frame set redefining what a drop bar bike really is ideal for serious bikepacking expeditions featuring multiple mountain points, load-bearing mud guards, and a specific rack system. Designed with 100mm suspension-ready geometry, with a unique kink in the frame, made from a Renault's 853 steel tubes, offering durability and a distinct look. Equipped with a radical, full-carbon, hot shoe fork, the ISO features an abundance of lugs and mounting points for bikepacking gear, along with internal cable routing through the fork for a dynamo-powered lights. One important thing to consider when looking at bikes that you wish to take off-road and on often steep terrains is adequate gearing. This rig comes in many build specs, however the mid-level spec comes with a SRAM Rival 1 group set which is a 34 tooth crank up front and a 10 tooth by 42 tooth cassette in the rear, but it's still not incredible. With a 24 inch granny gear, it could be better. And there's so much more that goes into choosing the right bike, which is why I created this masterclass. For example, I dive into sharing exactly how to figure out the gearing of a bike to see if it's capable for any kind of steep terrains you may wish to explore. Comparing this to other bikes to get an overarching view of which bikes gearing is best to compare such insights. By the end of the course, you will have the skills to be able to easily compare any bikes you're considering buying. So check out the link down below in the description to find out more. And also you can join our private community and group of like-minded explorers who can help you on your bike buying journey. Any questions that you might have, you can drop that in the community. And on top of all of that, you'll also help support children to buy bikes for their education in Cambodia. And so much more. So make sure to check that out. Next is a Singular Griffin. Singular was among the first brands to popularize combining big wheels with drop bars for versatile and fun off-road bikes. Released in 2008, the Griffin introduced a steel drop bar mountain bike frame set designed for 29er wheels and disc brakes, making it a cult favorite for its smooth ride and versatility. A drop bar mountain bike touring bike. A bike designed to encourage slow travel, taking in the surroundings and promoting an active connection with nature, inspired by the sense of freedom bikepacking offers. The frame clears up to three inch tires and is built to offer confidence on descents and helping tackle tough climbs. And it's a cheat code on challenging gravel, making it an enjoyable experience on rougher routes. Perfect for discovering remote, less traveled paths with the bike's durability making it a reliable choice for such adventures.